Yesterday in Health Alert, her world turned upside down after she was diagnosed with leukemia three months before her 11th birthday. Well, now one little girl from McDowell County is helping put a smile on the faces of other children fighting cancer. News 13's Lauren Brigman shares how this young girl is reaching out to other kids with the help of her sidekick, a miniature horse. Yeah. Megan may look like a typical 13-year-old, but once you meet her, you know she's special. Not only is she battling leukemia, but she's helping other kids who are fighting cancer. Megan was 10 when she got diagnosed August of 2012. She was diagnosed with ALL leukemia. Um, our world's kind of flipped upside down at that point. Megan receives chemotherapy treatment every week at the Children's Hospital in Johnson City, Tennessee. Her final treatment is set for this coming March. I'm not going to lie to you. It's been a, a struggle, but it's okay. I'm going. <laughs> Basically, she's in remission and she's healthy except for what the chemo has done to her body. Um, it's destroyed her bones. She has had two hip surgery and double knee surgery. While in the hospital, Megan was introduced to a therapy horse. <laughs> I mean, she just, when she's seen that little horse out there, um, she just... She loved it. That's when she decided she wanted to put a smile on other kids' faces, just like that experience did for her. It just got my mind off of all my treatments and everything, and that's what I'm going for. Ebony has been a part of their family. Ebony! Seriously? Oh, my word. Since September. Sometimes she can be stubborn. That may soon change as the miniature horse undergoes special training to become a therapy horse. Ebony goes for boarding and training later this month, and the goal is by spring she'll be able to go into hospitals to greet children by their bedsides. We'll put the anger boot. Now Megan is busy with another part of her outreach called Hoof Prints for Hope, stuffing hope bags for sick children. Her goal is to deliver 200 to the children at the hospital in Johnson City during the week of Christmas. Reporting in Marion, Lauren Brigman, News 13. Ebony, the horse. Yes. Megan. Megan's asking for donations to help fill her hope bags. If you would like to donate supplies or contribute financially, contact Megan's mom, Amber. You can see the phone number and email right there on your screen. Uh, you can also visit their Facebook page, Hoof Prints for Hope, to keep up with Megan's outreach.